Let's go to this great story, which has to do with robots. So basically, uh, this categorize uh, takes a look at Brazil and sort of when they were undergoing their pension reform. And you had um, a bank over in uh, an algo actually that was designed over in the UK that sort of tracked it, that took out the need for like a guy on the ground doing research on it. Right, the algo was tracking, and it was made by Arcara, and it was tracking about 500 different lawmakers. This strategy of tracking lawmakers and um, social commentary and news is a very popular one among a lot of different hedge funds right now. In fact, we tried to use one. I go to business school at night. We tried to use one ourselves. We outperformed. <laughs> you beat the algorithm. We beat uh, by using the algorithm. We beat our own oh, 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 by hand methods of doing but, things. But it was a combination of you and the algorithm. It wasn't just algorithm. Exactly. And this is two for the most part. But you really have to trust the algorithm. So in this Brazilian case, they were able to predict the outcome weeks in advance. And so you have to be sure that this algorithm is going to be right. Yeah, to that point, it's not so much you're going to eliminate researchers altogether. It's your point, actually. You just won't need as many of them. Yeah. And you by know. the way, this one is backed by Alan Howard, who's a little more tech-friendly as well. And so maybe there is a little more faith in this particular program. But there's a lot of money going into a lot of these types of algorithms.